Welcome everyone. Let me take you through a full day in the life of a software engineer from someone who actually works a full day. First, let me get some brain rot. You guys are gonna... Yeah, that's enough of that. All right, first things first. Let's see if any of my code broke the internet overnight. The first place to check for smoke is in my inbox and Slack. If something's on fire, this is where I'll see the alarms. Looks like we're clear. No new fires to put out. Now I check my calendar to see what meetings I need to prep for. And finally, I'll see if any teammates are waiting on a code review for me. Getting them unblocked is my top priority. Taking down an early morning Mountain Dew to get wired in for the work day. Getting a little bit of work in before I start making breakfast. Going with six eggs today because the landlord wanted breakfast too. After I get settled into my desk setup, the first thing I'm doing is deploying a change of production. In software engineering, it's pretty common practice to have multiple environments, such as development, staging, and production. Development is where you test things locally. Staging is kind of like a sandbox where you simulate real world usage without affecting real customers. And lastly, production is the real deal, the version that's live for actual users. The change I'm pushing has already gone through the earlier environments and now it's safe to move it to production. Once the deployment goes through, I need to verify that it's actually working as intended. So I'll check logs to confirm the system isn't throwing errors. And then I'll run a few database queries to make sure the data is stored and updated the right way. Next, I'm reviewing teammates merge requests. Merge requests are basically when another engineer looks over the changes before they get merged in. It's a good way to catch bugs early, share knowledge across the team, and keep the code base consistent. This can take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour or so daily. I'm mentoring a few colleagues right now, so I'm reviewing what they've been working on and seeing if there's anything I can help out with. I'm trying to catch a little bit of sun since I spend most of my day cooped up in the basement. Just getting started on a coding task I'll be working on for the rest of the day. And yep, I'm also starting on-call right now. If you're curious more about on-call as a software engineer, I've made a few videos on this already, so check those out. And here comes the meetings. First meeting today is on-call handoff. The previous on-call will just go over what happened during the past week and call out anything for the next on-call, which is me this week. Almost all my meetings are in the afternoon. Next meeting I have is grooming. So if you don't know what agile is, teams usually work in short cycles called sprints. Grooming is where we go through a list of upcoming tasks, make sure the requirements are clear, and estimate how much effort each one will take. Basically, it's just prepping the work so when the sprint starts, we all know what's on deck. If you guys are enjoying the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on it. You see right here, this is why we work out. Only one trip allowed for the groceries. I pretty much eat leftovers every day for lunch so I don't disrupt my workday too much. 
if anyone's curious about what programming language I'm using at work, it's Python. I'm working on a meaty migration right now, so I got to lock in here. Make sure I don't miss any edge cases. Finally, I'm done with meetings for the day. Now I'm just getting back to that coding task I started earlier. Trying to log off around five, but as you can see, I get pulled right back to my desk with an on-call alert. Get to the root cause pretty quickly here and then close my laptop again. Pretty tired at this point, so I'm just laying down and trying to watch some YouTube. But of course we get another alert, so we gotta hop back on the computer. No major issue, so this one's also pretty easy and quick. Finally got around to cleaning up this banana that I put in my car earlier. Trying to figure out how to use this new mic I got. I'm using the mic for this video, so let me know if my voice sounds better. And finally, you know I'm wrapping up my night playing a little bit of chess. And then watching YouTube, which also happens to be about chess. Appreciate everyone that made it this far in the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.